my name is Jolie. So, I steal your wife. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're too nice. has been switched up from what I normally do um, so I showed you guys a little bit of the 5 a.m. club which is the new thing that I've decided to start doing um, there's loads of research behind why it's great I'm not gonna blab on about it now because the blog will be forever but basically it's where you get up at 5 o'clock you do 20 minutes exercise so that is where I was walking out the door to go running um, it was just too dark to film so I do some running up and down the drive because I'm too scared to go out the drive that early and it's really dark so I did some running up and down the drive and then I did some squat jumps and some press ups sometimes I do a hit session really depends how I feel if I feel really sore because now I'm doing two workouts a day my body's not quite caught up with it um, I will do like stretching and more that sort of thing but that's really good um, and I've only had a couple of days where I really didn't want to do that part which is good, I thought I would struggle with that more. Um, and then you do 20 minutes reflection, um, but because I'm a Christian, I do prayer. Um, and then I also do visualization for my riding. So at the moment I'm visualizing how my hands to be, um, but today is an exciting day. So I actually visualized what I'm doing later, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and then you do 20 minutes studying reading watching that like you can watch an educational video listen to a podcast whatever but again i read the bible um so that for 40 minutes is kind of like my time to clarify clarify how i want the day to go um kind of get anything out that is bugging me like get it out on paper or talk to god about it um and set me up for the day and then it's by that time it's like 10 past six and then I have my breakfast, which you guys have just seen, and then I get changed and normally do emails um, and do some work before I start work at seven, but today I'm talking to you guys, so um, yeah. 
but luckily I haven't got loads of stuff to do. So overall, that's going really well. Uh, I did have a couple of days this week where I was really tired because I've done it um, Monday to now. So yeah, I used to have a little bit more of a lion on Wednesdays, but I've got rid of that. So I was a little bit tired, but I am going to sleep at half nine. So I still get seven and a half hours sleep because that's ideally what you want to get. No less, no more. So that's what I'm going for. Um, I'm drifting off, aren't I? Hold on. Anyway, let's move on to today, which is a very exciting day where we are taking Mercian Jolita. Oh, he's not Mercian Jolita. Jolita to his first ever show. Mm so exciting so for anyone who doesn't know who jolita is it's joey um who is our just turned five year old who is the same age as molly who is our other now five year old so molly's already done two shows joey hasn't done one yet because he just wasn't ready um he really struggled with the on the bit thing which can be a bit tricky for going and doing a test he also struggled with bending because he's a short coupled horse and his little fat chubby belly just struggles to go around the corner um but anyway we've got there i feel like we're there definitely and we're gonna go out today and um yeah gonna do his first show at heartbury which is so exciting also laura's doing a show at heartbury today she's on at nine something unfortunately we're gonna miss that but hopefully she'll have recorded it and i can put a little bit in here um so it's an exciting day really exciting day but for now i'm going to go and muck out and then we are leaving at half nine no 20 past nine so um it'll be a little bit busy oh and then after the show we're coming back and we're teaching but let's do the first the first bit first are you all staying there are you gonna come to work oh one Sprout? Lulu? <gasps> Bob, are you excited? I'm really excited. You're gonna get plaited up now, Puff? Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Good luck, Puff. You look really pretty. Be good. Yeah. Wow. Bye, Puff. Isn't that the best sight ever? Happy ponies. Do all dressage horses graze with a little pointy toe out? <laughs> so sassy, even grazing. the horses were well molly and joey were mental to get in they were like battling up the field i don't know if anyone has young horses who's watching probably um but basically do you find that the boys fight a lot like little boys would like human little boys and the girls are really well behaved like little girls are um because ours do and i don't know if this is just a thing or just a thing for ours um anyway I'm going to get dressed now. Something I did want to tell you today though, I'm going to tell you now, is I went for a lesson with Carl yesterday on Wilf and he hasn't seen him since before Christmas. <laughs> and um, yeah, so he we did some pirouettes first and he gave me like loads of insights into that and it was really helpful. And then we did his changes and I did some fours first and he was like, wow, that's so much better. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> and then um, he was like, okay, 
we'll do your twos and th uh, we'll do some threes and we'll do some twos and then he's like right try your ones and I was like please god I was like I just want to be able to show him that we can do it so I went ow so I went down the long side and um did uh did the ones so I was starting and I wasn't really counting I was like oh my gosh I've got past like five this is amazing we're nailing it and then um I thought I'd done like a million and apparently I'd done 12 and he was like you should have just kept going and I was like oh it's more me than him now like he can do it anyway so he's like let's try again so I went round did again um did my ones again and I was so happy and he was so encouraging Carl I mean and he was so nice and I was just like, ah, um, honestly, like, that guy is so humble, such an incredible rider, such a lovely person, like, put the riding thing aside, like, he's just so nice, and he really cares about training, and, oh, it makes me want to cry, I'm just so happy, so happy, um, and then we did his passage, and he said that it was really good, and I... <laughs> Sorry, I'm really excited. And I'm rambling on a lot now. But anyway, the lesson was just amazing. And I'm so glad because that night a post popped up. And I completely forgot that I had agreed to do this music demo um, at some house. And mum had told them that I'd do the Grand Prix one. So I was like, oh. Um, so it says Olivia Towers next to it, Grand Prix. And I'm like, what? That's insane. Um, but really exciting. Hmm. Okay, so basically, the next thing I wanted to tell you is that I found out as well that um, Horse and Country are filming it. So, Will's first Grand Prix, technical Grand Prix, um, will be filmed by Horse and Country. It's going to be live on Horse and Country. It's not quite how I planned it, you know, where you want to just go and have a quiet little first Grand Prix. First one I've ever done, first one he's ever done, and it's going to be filmed by Horse and Country. Uh-oh. Should we plat you up, sweetheart? She says, what is that? It's platting up. You right, Joe? Is it a bit confusing? What are you doing to my hair? Mummy, I'm not sure. We tried the front plait, that wasn't so easy. I'm going to need someone to help me with that one. But you're looking pretty. Oh, there he is. All ready for my show. Stop eating your rug. Joey. Try to not eat your rug. <laughs> Play with my lip. Oh, that's my lip, that's pretty. <laughs> By the way, if you're all wondering why Sprout's not our lorry dog anymore, it's because she has found a new obsession with my dad. She literally loves him, and she won't leave his side, so we don't have a lorry dog anymore. Do we? Because you're naughty. And Mimi hates the lorry, don't you? You hate the lorry. Yes. The old boys are tired today, aren't you? Are you tired? What would a vlog be without putting you in it? My little angel. I love you. So much. So much. So these are the travel boots we put on the young horses because they're not as big. Um, so it's a good way to break them into travel boots. They're from Shires. Just realized I've been calling him Jolita. He's Jolito. Jolito. My name is Jolito. I steal your wife. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're too nice. Sassy. You are quite an oddball, aren't you? And we are ready. Joey, stop trying to go in the feed room. Come on, Olivia. Bye, Joe. See you the other side. <laughs>
Look what I did to my jumpers. I oh, know. Oh, no. <laughs> Show us. Show us your rosette. <laughs> Woo! My centre, that last centre line. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, that last centre line, I got a 6.5. Well, that's quite good considering what it was like. <gasps> I'm going to do a bit of the work and then I'll not get in trouble. It's time I let it go. I never listen to what others say. So come and see, no matter what I do, head first into this hurricane.
come my way Here I go, here I go This time I let it go I never listen to what others say So come and see No matter what I do Head first into this hurricane got 65.8 new which is good with lots of mistakes mum's closing the lorry in on us well done joey yeah. did you do any commentary today oh, what has happened to that you used to be great on the commentary <laughs> and very happy and chilling i'm just going to tidy the lorry um i'm going to do the cab because it's so muddy from mud anyway um and then we're going to have some lunch and then i'm going to teach and then i'm not sure what i'm doing tonight i'm a bit of a lone wolf tonight anyway um let's chat about this test though so of course there is part of me that's sad that I didn't get a higher mark, sad that I had mistakes, but I'm not going to moan about it because at the end of the day I can change that, can't I? Um, so let's not play the victim because that is my new mantra. I really feel like it's going to be one of my new slogans. I don't know if you can put don't play the victim on a t-shirt though, but I feel like we all need that because I really started to notice that that's what I was doing before, like moaning and just being a moany little madam. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's things that we need to improve, definitely. He needs to get stronger. He needs to get um, fitter. He needs to push more, in his, push more in his transitions. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump him a bit more because that really helps his canter. Um, but then also I need to remember that I need to keep riding him getting ready for those tests so yeah there's loads I can do I need to get um try and ride them a little bit more like how I ride the advanced horses and the fact that you know try and keep my hands together a little bit more try and be a little bit more accurate and don't just go in there on a wing and a prayer I mean it was the first time so that's okay but um yeah I'm gonna just basically get him and Molly ready to do novice 37 which is a regional test and even if they don't do it um at least i'm aiming towards something so that's all that matters um and i am going to as well have a lesson on molly and joey because i haven't had one yet with anyone so um it would be good to do because they're five now uh and it'd be nice to have someone's opinion but anyway all in all There's a lot we can uh, we can do from today, but it was a good start point. Good start point, and he is a lot braver in the arena than I thought. I know he was spooking in that right corner, but that's because he sits on my right leg, so I had nothing to kind of like guide him around. So that's not the end of the world. But I mean, he's he's braver than I thought, so I'm really happy. Everyone finds this sign really funny when I take pictures in the lorry. <coughs> Have a situation.
situation and the fact that my laptop's not reading the SD card. So I don't know if this vlog will ever exist. Oh, haven't resolved the SD card issue, but I'm gonna try and edit it on the big computer later. So I really, really hope this vlog goes out. Um, but, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so now I'm gonna go and teach three people. Um, yeah, that's it. And then, we're done. Just got to get the naughty foals in. Oi, Rufus, Rufus. Rufus! A bit of the pull. And um, so there, do you see how he drifted? Yeah. You have to be quite strict on drifting. Because the more they drift, the harder it is for them to come round. Try and be very consistent with the rain. Yeah, so when he comes up, don't think I've got to pin him down. Think I've got to push him into the rain. It's so hard to get this. And you think you've got it and then you go back to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we are done, guys. Sorry, I didn't record two horses. I actually got on them. Not doing that at the moment. I'm like, I'll get on. Um, no, one was being really spooky, so I just wanted to see um, what he was like. And he was a really good boy. And then... Uh, yeah, I got on the other one just to show um, my first client about the contact, so it was good, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I need to sort out this SD card thing, don't I? But I'm so hungry. Let's get some food. Music